Hi, here we have a sad math problem. Okay, let's go the information. If x to the 10th power equals to 5 and x to the 9th power over y equals to uh, 5555, find the value of 1 over xy. Okay, we have two information. One is x to the 10th power equals to uh, 5 and x to the 9th power over y equals to 5555 uh, and we have to find the value of 1 over xy. Okay, so how to find the value of 1 over xy using this information? Okay, from the second equation, it's very clear the value of the expression x to the ninth power over y equals to 5555. So in this problem, uh, wherever I get this expression x to the ninth power over y, uh, I can plug in 5555 uh, for that. Okay, now uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm trying to get this expression uh, in the first equation. That is uh, x to the tenth power equals to 5. So if I want to get this expression uh, in the first equation, so this 10 has to become 9 and I must have denominated y. So that I'll be getting this expression x to the ninth power over y here. So for that, I divide both sides by xy. So the reason why I divide both sides by xy, because when I divide uh, this one by x, so this x will cancel, this x one 10 will become 9. So I get x to the ninth power. At the same time, I have y in denominator now on the left side, I exactly have the expression x to the ninth power over y. Okay, so the after simplification, I get x to the ninth power over y on the left side. On the right side, I get phi over xy. Okay, and also when I divide the both sides by xy in the first equation, on the right side, I get xy in denominator. So I have a chance to get the value of 1 over xy. Okay, now here on the left side, we have x to the ninth power over y. Already we know that uh, the value of that expression, that is 5,555. So we can plug in 5,555 for this x to the ninth power over y. So I get 5,555 equals to phi over xy. Okay, now what I'm going to do is, uh, my aim is to get the value of 1 over xy, but here on the right side, I have phi over xy. So instead of phi, I need 1. For that, I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation, uh, both sides of this equation by 1 over 5. So this 5, 5 will cancel out, 5 goes into 5 1 times, and here 1111. So 1111 equals to 1 over xy. So finally, I got the value of 1 over xy, it is 1111. So option B is correct.